Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make a slow motion effect in Blender. It's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, you want to start off by looking under the cube with your middle mouse button. And we're going to add a 3D cursor with a left click. And then we're going to add a plane. This is going to be the floor. So select the plane, click S to scale. And now we're going to select the cube and we're going to grab it upwards. So right click to select, G to grab, set to grab it on the set axis. So G set. Now click R to rotate. And you can look around again, click R to rotate. And then you want to open the settings. Go into physics, rigid body. This one is going to, going to be active. And the floor is obviously going to be passive because it's going to stand still. So add some uh, bounciness as well. And select the floor, rigid body. This one is going to be passive. And add some bounciness for the bounce animation. And let's make it slow-mo by changing the old to 25. So that it's just 25% of the speed since it's 100. And make the end frame about 1000 because we're going to have 4 times as many frames. So 250, which we started with, times 4, since it's just 25%. And that is 1000. Okay, and then we're going to click play to make the simulation start. And as you can see, it falls down. And it takes a lot of frames to fall down. And this is obviously 4 times as many frames as uh, the animations show in the timeline. And we're just going to let it finish simulating until it's done, like this. Then we can just click pause. And since we only used 100 frames, we just need 400 frames in the end frame. Because we're just going to need 4 times as many frames for the animation. So that we don't render any like, unnecessary frames. Okay, and if we click play again. You can see the slow motion effects of the cube falling. That's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions about the tutorial, just leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching.